Welcome back to the Sportsman Zone. The 40th running of the Sandalian Barbados Gold Cup is less than two days away. Ahead of one of the most prestigious sporting events on the Barbados calendar, the Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Turf Club, Rosette Pierce, is excited about the potential turnout. Expecting a pretty massive crowd, especially since we have had a hiatus from the Gold Cup for the past two years. We think that this crowd could be massive, possibly historic amount of people should be here for this year. We've had excellent feedback or tickets sold out early, so maybe in the range of 15,000 people or more. Well, we do get fans from all over the world and outside of the Caribbean, the UK is our big, big, biggest market, um, especially from England. Um, as you know, England is another um, hub for horse racing and so we expect them again to support us. And judging by our ticket sales early on, that is exactly where we're coming from. We've got the VIP Pavilion all-inclusive package this year. That's a return. They've been with us for about eight years. New to our offerings this year is the Gold Cup Village, which is located on the infield of the Garrison Savannah, and they will be offering, um, it's an outdoor kind of lime, true Bajan style, great food, lots of drinks, all included in your package, shelter, top-notch service, so I expect it to be really good this year. Yeah, Rosette Pierce says sold out, Lance and Mariah. And as she pointed out, I guess we shouldn't be surprised the Sandalane Gold Cup off for a couple of years because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And as you can well imagine, everyone in Barbados is quite excited that it's back on the calendar. Yeah, and what I've noticed about horse racing events, you know, being able to attend a lot of them here in Jamaica. And the thing about the events that I get to attend, it's always the fancy ones. So thanks for signing me up for those. You know, <laughs> I noticed that, you know, there's a particular group of people, you know, a type of love that people have when it comes to these big, big events. And one of the things that I picked up from being here in Jamaica is that even if you are not a horse racing fan, there's a particular type of environment, a particular type of atmosphere that even if you don't understand or you don't really love horse racing, you want to be a part of it. Yeah. You know, and I get the sense from listening to her as well that it's the event in Barbados that you want to be at. You want to be there because, you know, the big, big names are going to be there. It's an event where you can network. So it's not only about the horse racing, but there's so much more to it. Yeah, it's fashionable to go to the Gold Cup in yeah. Barbados. And as you correctly mentioned, it's not just a major sporting event. It's a major event on the national calendar. That's yes. how they look at it. You heard Rosette Pierce just now, 15,000 expected. A lot of people going to the Garrison Savannah. Yeah, sounds like a cricket crowd over there still with the Sandalane Gold Cup. Today was beach day for some of the horses on the race day program. The owner of Keeley's Dream, Mario Williams, explains how the beach helps the horses. It's kind of like a therapy. They help them a little bit, ease a little pressure off them, especially like is they like becoming a gallop body, same thing becoming a healing process. Um, taking the horses, you see, they like it. It's relaxing muscles. Relax the body, ease the mind a lot than being in a rush at races and being in a stall lock up all the time. So coming here is like, it's really, really good for your horses. It's, it's good therapy and it's really good exercise. Um, been very good, been training for months, like since last February. Um, I go away a lot, I raid overseas in England. So, um, and I choke the stakes, just, you know. Uh, I don't run for money, our people. I mean, I run for the, the horse tell me what it want to do. So, no, she's, she was ready before I had to scratch it. And this thing, no, I believe she's 100% ready. 100%. She's got a good chance of winning, honestly. The horse tells me what she wants to do. Lance would understand <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the, the grooms and the trainers and the handlers of the horses know how to communicate it's with the horses. Pet. You, you yeah, understand. Yeah, they, they understand them. And the point he was making there about horses using the beach as a part of therapy and training uh, is pretty important because for, for two reasons. One, there is not a lot of pressure on the joints. As you would know, even athletes, human athletes, yeah. love to use swimming as training as well because there's no pressure on the joints, the knees, the ankles and so on. And uh, the other thing is that there's a lot more resistance in the water than there is in the air. Yeah. So as a, as a training exercise, Swimming is always very, very valuable. So 
Um, and the horses enjoy it. As yes. Mario just mentioned, you know, they're cooped up in their stalls and on race days, it's a lot of excitement and high energy. So the beach experience for them is enjoyable for most horses. Yeah, and Barbados has some of the most beautiful beaches. So I'm looking on at the footage, of course, and I'm getting lost in that. But yeah, we heard from the trainer, and based on what he's, he's seen from the horse, he's, he feels as if Lance and Ricardo, that the horse can win this one. Yeah, it's not in the big race, the Sandile, and it's one of the earlier races, I think yes. the third race on, on the card. Um, but um, it's, it will all be a part of a very, very massive race day. And Rosette said it as well that because the Sandile and Barbados Gold Cup hasn't been run since March 2020, I think the appetite for the Gold Cup is really high. And uh, the fans are going to embrace every moment of what happens on Saturday. Of course, it will be live on Sportsmax as well. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Live on Saturday, three hours from the Sandile and Barbados Gold Cup. And you saw the horses going through their water therapy. Mariah Ramarak will also be doing some water therapy in her preparations for her big race against Desreen Francis. We take a break. When we return, Lance will be at the track. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment.